Boss, do you follow soccer? Are you a soccer guy? Yeah, or yeah. No? I, you know when the World Championships come in the European? Yes, so I do. Are you following the World Cup or no? Yes. Okay. I was did you did, were you following the story about the uh, um, Messi and the coach from Netherlands? Like, do you know the story behind it, the backstory of what happened, or no? No, don't know. Are you following it at all, or no? I saw something about Messi. Let me tell you, I thought it was it. so freak. So, so the so the the the, the match ends. Netherlands loses to Argentina. I don't know if you saw yeah, that I or saw not. It, yeah. And okay. then he goes up and he celebrates right in front of a, a, a what do you call it? Right in front of a, the coach. The, yeah. uh, the coach of Netherlands, uh, Luis van Gaal, who is a legend in the, yeah. in the soccer world. He's a legendary coach. And he goes to him and he says, you talk too much. You didn't see that part? No. It's pretty epic. So he goes <laughs> to him and says, hey, you talk too much. And everybody's there looking at Messi because Messi typically doesn't have a temper like this. Messi's been very ang angry. So apparently the story behind Louis van Gaal is back in 2002, van Gaal becomes a coach of Barcelona. And at that time, they have this player that comes in whose name is Riquelme, who Riquelme, van Gaal asked him to play out of position. Van Gaal, Riquelme says, I'm not going to play out of position. Anyways, he couldn't stand Riquelme. And Riquelme, when he would score a goal, he would come up and go like this. Okay, So when Messi scores a goal, he goes right in front of van Gaal's bench and he goes like this oh, to him, gee. saying Riquel May, because prior to the game, uh, the coach Van Gaal said, if we go to a penalty shootout, we're going to beat him his week. And he says, Messi doesn't play defense. Anyways, it was amazing uh, to see how uh, Messi remembers the revenge from 20 years ago because Riquel May was his captain, and he's seeking vengeance for Riquel May against the coach 20 years later. 20 years later. Pretty Like wild. an elephant. Yeah, it's like an elephant, exactly. <laughs> so who do you think is going to win? Are you following any of it to see if it's going to be France, Morocco? I think Argentina's playing, uh, 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 are they playing it's Morocco? France versus Morocco. France, Argentina, Morocco, Argentina against Croatia. Croatia. Yeah. France, uh, Morocco. I mean, Morocco is doing really well right now. So I don't know. You know, it would be cool. They never got it, right? The Dutch, why the white? We went three times to the finals. The team that went the most time to the finals, but never won. Yeah. So, so they they call Netherlands the greatest uh, a World Cup team ever that never won. Yeah. You guys, the, the, they they put teams together, but it's like Stockton and Malone or Charles Barkley. No, but these guys, listen, these guys are actually like they deserve to have won. And it's unfortunately, you know, in the world of competition, man, you can say deserve all you want, but you know, it's whoever takes it. Yep. And in soccer, it's not necessarily the best team that wins because it's only one game. It's a very technical game. There's right. luck involved. There's a lot of things involved in it. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe future looks bright. If you believe future looks bright, get your latest future looks bright hat of Valuetainment. It says future looks bright here, future looks bright here. We got them in white, we got them in black, we got them in red. Our black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people were in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying Future Looks Bright. To order your Future Looks Bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.